everyone expressing my opinions in the last video about books and my undisclosed fan fictions, which will never be seeing the light of day ever again. They're gone. Good luck finding them. So I found some quizzes on, you guessed it, Buzzfeed. And the first one I found is don't even think about calling yourself a bookworm unless you check 29 out of 56 things on this list. 29. A very specific number. Okay. Check off everything you relate to. Read books for fun. Yes. I'm actually currently reading Desolation by Dark Landy, which is part of the Demon Road trilogy. And I'm enjoying it very much. Okay. Enjoyed doing book reports in school. We didn't do them. We were forced to read a specific book, part of the curriculum, and I hated it. Because, ah, oh, they were outdated. There was always this uh, opinionated... Oh boy, I, I could go on the rant. Basically, in literature class, they were encouraged to portray, that's the wrong word, <laughs> to express your opinions on a certain book and they tell you why you're wrong. Because literature is opinionated. I'm going off on a tangent. Anyway, <laughs> couldn't wait for the book fair at school. Yep. Never had enough money or shelving space for all the books you wanted. Yep. <laughs> Mainly the shelving space, as you can see. Do you want a book crossroom because of something a character did? No. Now he died from secondhand embarrassment for something a character did? Nope. Read fan fiction? Yes. Wrote fan fiction? <laughs> yes. No, you'll never see it. Never. Know the difference between canon and canon? Yep. Canon? Okay. Depending on the spelling. Canon. There was my cable. A cannon is something that goes boom. Canon is something that is legit within the book's universe. Say like, it's canon that Harry's middle name in the Harry Potter series is James. That's canon. I think I explained that right. If not, feel free to correct me in the comments below. Do you know what AU stands for? Alternate universe. <laughs> my throat's getting dry already. <laughs> You've created an EU for all your favourite characters. Yeah. In one of my fan fictions. No, you'll never see it. You've made fan art, or at least tried based on a book character. I have. With a book with no pictures, so I use my own imagination, which I'm still proud of. You've bought unofficial merch related to your favourite book. Yep. I'm not telling you what it is. You've bought official merch for your favourite book. Look for it in there. You said the book was bitter every single time. You were disappointed in a movie adaption for a book. I've cried over a movie adaption of a book. You wish there was a word for word seven hour movie adaption to your favourite book all the time. You love that new book smell. If they have a candle for it, I would buy it. Used bookstores are your favourite place to be. I don't think I've ever been in one. I mean, sometimes in some supermarkets they have like used books stores, not used, well, not stores, places that have been donated and you can just put a donation in and it's given to charity or something. But not a used one, like, I did buy a new one from college, I remember that, but yeah. You always go to the bookstore when you're at the mall all the time. You think the Twilight books are actually good? Not great, but they're okay. Definitely better than the movies. Yeah, yeah, come on. Put down your pitchforks. You've read an amazing book series that is very underrated. Yes, the Skullduggery Pleasant series is one of them, also written by Derek Landy, who I met and he was very nice. You were an honours English in school? No. Long story, but no, I wasn't. English was your favourite subject? Yes because I hated maths and science. Uh, not my strong suit. You wanted to be an English major? No. I did study it in sixth form in college, but 
Well, you think the library is the best part of any school building. It's a part of any build, not just school building. You always bring a book to the beach. Well, not the beach, no. You bring a book everywhere, yes. <laughs> you always have an app on your phone and computer so you can always read digitally. Yeah. You have a reading tablet. I've got an iPad with a reading app on it. I need a cough again. <coughs> Excuse me. You've read more than 10 classic books. Okay, I've read Jane Eyre, Oliver Twist. What's defined as a classic book? I've listened to um, A Christmas Carol because my brother had a lot of um, CDs on audiobook for when, when he went to bed and to keep him entertained and I would listen with him sometimes. Um, is Lord of the Flies a classic book? I don't know. I didn't like it. Um, Treasure Island. Um, what else have I read? I think that's about it. And another one, I've forgotten what it's called. There's also someone's island. Not Gilligan's Island. Um, I can't remember them. <laughs> so no, I don't think I have. You don't like the most recent Little Women movie and they, and they think they butchered it. I've never read Little Women. Not even Emma Watson could have me watch Little Women, so <laughs> nope. You've lost count of high bookmarks you own. Yeah. <laughs> you hated when people dog ear pages of a book. Oh, God, yes. You hate when people spoil the endings of books. Actually, there's something called the spoiler paradox. Yes, you know the spoiler, but you don't know how the spoiler happens. For example, I was told before I read the end of Deathly Hallows that Fred Weasley gets killed, but I didn't know how Fred got killed. So, like another paradox, I know what happened, but I don't know how it happened. So, in a way, it's kind of like a loophole. So, no, they don't really bother me that much. Um, you hate when you cried over a character's book. A character's book? <laughs> I can't read. Ironic, I know. You cried over a book character's death. Oh god, yeah. You cried at a book ending. Not an ending, no. You have enjoyed reading a book and being disappointed when it had a terrible ending. Oh god, yeah. You watch a TV show that was based on a book you read? Hmm. Yes, I did. Story of True Speaker by Trish Jacqueline Wilson. How did that get made into a TV? Because it was really morbid. Basically, it was about kids in care homes who try to get fostered, or it's the shenanigans that make the story. And these are kids who have been through serious issues like death, abuse, neglect, and even divorce, which I don't think really happens. So, yeah, nice. And they try and make light of it, but... Ugh. Anyway. You hated the show for its inaccuracy. Yes. Oh wait, I forgot. Yes, I have. You've read a book after watching a show movie based it off it and liked the book more. Oh yeah. I can't think of one right now because there are many, but yeah. You've recommended a book to someone. I have. You have a large vocabulary. I never use it, but yeah. You always use correct grammar. No, because sometimes a said grammar can be incredibly anal. I'm a grammar cop, yes. Written wise. Verbally, not so much. You've gotten offended when someone didn't like your favourite book character. No, because I somewhat respect other people's opinions, even if they're wrong. <laughs> You've gotten offended because someone thought they liked your favourite book character more than you, no? You've been inspired to write your own book. I'm actually currently writing one <laughs> at this moment in time. No, I'm not telling you what it's about, you'll just have to wait. And it's coming along beautifully. 
<laughs> not a brag or anything, but I am. <laughs> You've read a new book at least every month. Not every month, no. Because the pile grows so much. You always buy a new book by your favourite author right away. I do. You stay up too late reading because the book was so good that you couldn't put it down. Yes. The one I remember most was The Red Necklace by... I want to say Sally Gardner, but I think that's wrong. But it was a really good book. You've gone to a fan event for a book series. Nope. You've met an author. I've met Terry Deary, the author of Horrible Histories. Derek Landy, like I said. Anne Cleves, the author of the Vera Crime Collection. And of course, Carrie Hill Pletcher, who was very nice. You've gotten a book signed. Uh, several books are signed. You've written a letter, email, post to your favourite author. I have. I replied, no. And finally, book characters have shaped you a lot of who you are. Yes. 38. <laughs> oh, Carly Quinn. <laughs> you like books more than the average person. You love to read, but you still do enjoy those pesky book reports in school. More like book essays of the books we were forced to read. Maybe because not many kids read. Ugh. Oh dear, not everyone can have good taste. Have you read any of these nine unbelievably famous books? If you've read every Harry Potter book, that's already like 7% of the list. <laughs> yeah, they're not wrong. Okay. I've read Harry Potter, the first one. The Little Prince. I've seen the movie. Actually, I think I have seen it. I've listened to it. I always like to go on YouTube and find an audiobook to listen to. I did that for my brother as well. Um, I don't think I have. I think Stephen Fry read it. I don't know. Dream of the Red Catcher? No. The Hobbit? I've listened to it, so that still counts. Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe? Yep. We read it when I was in year four. Is she a history of adventure? Nope. Adventures of Pinocchio? One thing I love to read is old fairy tales because they're so different from Disney. I love Disney, you know that, but the original fairy tales? Ha ha ha! The Da Vinci Code? Nope. Chamber of Secrets? Yes. Prison of Azkaban? Yes. Goblet of Fire? Yes. Order of the Phoenix? Yes. Hot Blood Prince? Yes. Deathly Hallows? Yes. The Alchemist? Don't think so. Catcher in the Rye, don't think I have no. Bridges of Madison County, nope. Ben Hur, The Tale of the Christ. Rings a Bell, I think I read that in secondary school. No, we were read to it in secondary school for our literature. I can't remember, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna take it just in case. 100 Years of Solitude, nope. Lolita, nope. Heidi, yes. Unaudible, not audible. CD. <laughs> Anna Green Gables? Nope. Black Beauty? Nope. The Name of the Rose? Nope. The Eagle Has Landed? Nope. Watership Down? Nope. And I never will. I've been told not to. I know there's rabbits in it, and I mean, like, no. <laughs> no. Charlotte's Web? Yes, I remember putting that on for my brother, and I listened it to him, so yes. The Ginger Man? Nope. Taylor Peter Rabbit? What do you think? <laughs> yes. Jonathan Livingston Seagull, nope. The Very Hungry Pat Caterpillar, yeah, that's a whole pe special place in my heart. To Kill a Mockingbird, only some of it for... for literature again. And the funny thing is, you would think I read Cliff Notes, which is like the whole book and <laughs> summarised, but I haven't. I just know what happens in the book, and I even know the story, which was very sad. But uh, you can, it just shows how much you can know without actually reading the physical copy. Anyway, Flowers in the Attic? Nope. Cosmos? No. Sophie's World? Nope. Angel and Demons? No. Cain and Abel? Nope. One well, that's based off. <laughs> how Steel was Tempered? Nope. War and Peace? No. And Frank? Oh, no, 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 no. That's one book I'll never read. Oh, my Lord, no. 
No. I know what it's about, though. We had to do it when I was in year six. I may have cried in class a little bit. I pretend I had a headache because, well, I didn't want to admit it. I don't know. I was a weird kid. And oh my god, that poor girl. The thorn birds, no, nope. the kite runner. Heard of it. Didn't hear my interest. Valley of the Dolls, too creepy. The Great Gatsby, another one I had to write for literature. Ugh, I hated it. Gone with the Wind, heard of it. What it's about. Never read it. Rebecca, nope. 1984, another one. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, I read the synopsis. The synopsis. The blurb. Looked up a little bit online. Disturbed me, never touched it. The Lost Symbol, nope. The Hunger Games, yes. James the Giant Peach, yes. Paul Virginie. <laughs> if I said that right with the thing in my fr frog in my throat. Um, I've seen that cover. But I don't think I have seen it. A Brief History of Time. Oh, bless him, Stephen Hawking. Lust Hovel for Life. Van Gogh, no. Wendy in the Willows. An audible and not audible. The audio book on say day for my brother again and the Disney version. Summed up. <laughs> the seven habits of highly effective people. No. Sounds interesting though. The Fault in Our Stars, again, I looked it up to see what it was about. I thought it was incredibly dis depressing and no matter how many how heartwarming it would be, I just can't I can't bring myself to read it. So no. Virgin Soil and Turned. No. The Celestine Prophecy. Nope. The Shack. Not sure. The Godfather. <laughs> no. Catching Fire. Yes. Love Story. Nope. Mocking J. Nope. Kitchen. No. Andromeda Nebula. Sounds familiar. Don't think so. Oh, Biography of a Yogi. No. Gone Girl, no. Girl on the Train. I remember my hairdresser telling me about the book. Didn't sound like my kind of book. I like adventure stories and fantasy stories and <laughs> kind of just weird stories altogether. All Quiet on the Western Front, no. <laughs> How old are these books? The Bermuda Triangle? Nope. Things Fall Apart? Nope. Animal Farm? Again, I know what it's about, but I will never read it because there was one part that made me cry when I, when I looked into it. Because sometimes when I think about buying a book, I look it up because sometimes the blurb is, well, you know, the description, that's what the blurb is, for those who didn't know. And sometimes they give you as little information as possible and I want to know more than just like there's a boy called Bob and a girl called Jill. So, and, no. Wolf told them, no. The Happy Hooker. No. Jaws, nope. Love You Forever. I've listened to it, so it still counts, because it was cute. The woman's room now, what to expect when you're expecting. Ventures of Huckleberry Finn, an audiobook again for my brother, and my dad introduced me to it. Secret Diary of Adrian Moore, age 13 and three quarters. No, Pride and Prejudice, oh god, again for literature. Oh, I hated it. I don't care if people say it's a masterpiece, it's opinionated. Contigue across the Pacific in a raft, no. The Good Soldier, Servic, Shervik, did I say that right? Where the wild things are, yep, it's a classic. Fear of Flying, no. June, I think I'd listen to that with my brother, I think. I think. The, I recognise the cover. We've listened to so many, I've lost track. <laughs> Charlie the Chocolate Factory, definitely. Total Charlie Little Girl at the Window, no. Matilda, yeah, you can't go wrong with Roald Dahl. The Book Thief, yes. Hostess Spira, yes. It was okay, but uh, 
Good Night Moon, uh, children's classic. <laughs> Never Ending Story. No. Fifty Shades of Grey. Nope. Nah. -uh. The Outsiders. Yes. I'll I'll hope it is because Pony Boy Curtis or um I've forgotten his real name. Anyway. Because there's no plagiarism in books. Though I explain Harry Potter like. And guess how much I love you. There's a rabbit on it. What do you think? <laughs> Show my results. 32 out of 99 on this list. Do you prefer to wait all these books are adapted to a film until you experience them? No! You think you know me? Huh! Reveal six things about yourself and get a perfect book recommendation. We've got your next red covered. <laughs> covered like book cover. <laughs> Meh. Select your zodiac sign. I'm a Sagittarius. Which of these bookshelves speak to you? Oh, they all do. I like the black one. I like the white one. And I like the one chip for tree, but you can't fit much on that. So, this one. I need a cough. What's wrong with me? It's not what you think, no. <coughs> Excuse me. Choose a place to f on the internet to frequent. YouTube. I'm never off YouTube. <laughs> Pick one of these animals. Ah, oh, a corker, fennec fox, baby elephant, a Dr. Shrink in Romano Crossan, Capybara, Red Panda, Wombat, Otter, Bat. I like bats, but I like otters too. The bats are cute. Pick something you love about fall. Apple cider, sweater weather, Halloween, I just hate summer. Crunchy leaves, pumpkin, everything. Halloween, of course. Finally, pick a colour. Pink. Ooh. Shatter the Sky by Rebecca Kim Wells. After her girlfriend, Kaya, is abducted by prophetic agents of the Emperor, ooh, called the Otari. Otari? Otari? Otari. <laughs> yeah, we never see that name again. Marin must quickly come up with a plan in order to for them to have the quick future she imagined. To rescue Kaya, she'll become an apprentice to the Emperor's mysterious dragon trainer. There's dragons in it! So that she might steal a dragon and storm the stronghold where Kaya is being kept. Actually, sounds quite good. I'll look it up. Dragons? Purple dragon like Maleficent? I hope so. Okay, last one. Which popular book should you read next? Usually I don't like being told what to read because I still have flashbacks from literature class. So let's have a look. Pick a place. London, Paris, New York City, Florida, Tokyo. Okay, I've been to London many, many times. I've been to New York. Tokyo is closest to Okunashima, which is Rabbit Island. But there's also Disney World in Florida. And Paris, I've been once with Disneyland Paris, which was a long time ago. 20 years to be exact. Wow, I can say that, I mean it. <laughs> but there's also, a, wait a minute, there's Disney World in Tokyo. What am I saying? Tokyo, bunnies and Disney. What type of book are you looking for? Standalone, duology, trilogy, one main book with spin-offs. Well, I'm reading a trilogy at the minute, so this one. This or that, Beauty and the Beast, Romeo and Juliet. You've heard better, a better love story than Twilight. Well, pretty much any story where the two sides don't end up dead is better than Romeo and Juliet. So I'm not that biased because of my relationship with Belle, the Disney character. I'll go with Beauty and the Beast anytime. At least it has a happy ending and they're still breathing. Genre. Fantan fantasy, contemporary, fantasy with realism. I like all of these. Oh, I like fantasy with realism. It's pretty much what um, the book I'm reading at the minute is. Trope. Ugh. Enemies to lovers. Friends to enemies to lovers to enemies to lovers to enemies. Yeah, you get the point. Friends to lovers. One bed trope. And not with the sexual. 
sometimes it's just funny because of the awkwardness like i said in my previous video because it's like stop being awkward i'm not being awkward yes you are no i'm not yes you are no i'm not i'll sleep on the floor go ahead i will it'll be bad for my back it will would you like a pillow no i don't <laughs> so one bed drop just for the sake of it dance of thieves Ooh, Mary E. Pearson. What's that about? I've got to look it up. Ninety-six hmm, percent. Okay. It tells you everything, but. Okay, good reads. It's a YA novel. I like YA, even though I'm not YA myself now. Hat trip sealed. When the patriarch of the Ballinger Empire dies, his son, Jace, becomes his new le its new leader. Even nearby kingdoms bow to the strength of this outlaw family, who have always been governed by their own rules. But a new era... Where was I? A new era looms on the horizon. I don't <laughs> But a new era looms on the horizon, set in motion by a young queen, which makes her a target of the dynasty's resentment and anger. At the same time, Kazi, a legendary former street thief, is sent to by the queen to investigate transgressions against the new settlements. When Kazi arrives in the forbidding land of the Bollingers, she learns that there is more to chase than she thought. It's one of those books, is it? As ex unexpected events spiral out of their control, bring them in intimately together, they continue to play a cat and mouse game of false moves and motives in order to fulfill their own missions. Okay. If I see it, I'll, I'll read it because sometimes reading the description is not enough. I like to read the first few lines of the book. And if, it, if I'm hooked, I'll, I'll buy it. I'll read it. If not, I shall wait for someone else to read. Anyway, that was fun. I'll leave links in the description below if you'd like to take these quizzes and tell me what you've got in the comments below. And if you liked it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you soon.